ladies and gentlemen, her. Okay, cool. Hey everyone, I've got my journal here. Uh, it's a Muji A6 size journal. Um, I just like the size of it. It's nice and small. I feel like I just get more done in my journals when I use a smaller one. But of course, any journal that you have lying around will be perfect. Um, so what I'm going to do is open up to a new page. I'm almost at the end of this journal. I go through these journals pretty fast. I don't know why, but I just do. I really love them. And um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some paper behind the pages so that you can see that the paint won't leak through. Um, it's something that happens to me a lot because I'm impatient. I don't like to wait for things to dry. Um, so this can be a way to help prevent the paint from smearing onto your other pages. Um, also, if you're really like feeling cautious about it, you can glue them or tape onto these sides. So I might do that now because I want things to look a bit pristine, I guess, a little bit cleaner for this video. Um, a lot of the times when I do this, I end up just, um, if paint smears, I'll end up just like covering it on my next page somehow. I'll figure out a way to cover it up. Um, but yeah, this technique that I'm doing, like these paint, what's it even called? I don't even know, like paint smushing, paint, I don't know, but <laughs> there must be a term for it. I just don't know what it's called, but yeah, it's a, it's a really easy thing to do. So I'm excited to show this to you guys. I do this all the time, a lot of my pages. I'll probably, I'll insert them, but I do this technique a lot. I just really enjoy it because it's something really easy to do. Although it takes so long to dry, I'm so sorry. Like, I know you can take like a hair dryer to it and stuff like that, but yeah, it takes a really long time to dry. So maybe if you're feeling like doing this, do it at night so that it'll be dry in the morning. Because if you're like me, I have no patience and I want it done straight away. Okay, I'm done this now. Okay, so now that my pages are ready, um, I have my paint here. These are all just like acrylic paints from that I get from like the dollar store or Michaels. And what we're gonna do is, um, I don't. It doesn't matter what color you start with. I don't. I don't know anything about color theory or things like that. But with this, you're kind of smearing everything together. So I don't really think that applies here. But this is a really cool paint. It's like silver. I don't know. I found it and I was like very excited by it but all we're gonna do is just so what's gonna happen is we're gonna put all our paint on this paper and then close the book so we're gonna close it and all of the colors are gonna smear together and smush together um yeah so i just like to go crazy you know i find it there's different types of techniques you can do so once you start doing it you'll start to realize what you like and you'll try out different things but also i'm trying to fill up this page as much as i can so i'm gonna try and put paint everywhere um because one of the things that always happens with mine is this gonna um oh that was a lot Ugh. okay whatever um <laughs> i'm getting so distracted but one of the things that happens to me is i don't fill up the entire page and that kind of bothers me so i'm gonna try and do that with this one also yeah this is a lot of paint don't put this much paint because it's kind of a waste so also if you want things to be symmetrical you can try that too so yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this. I mean, it looks like a lot of paint, but in reality it's not. Um, I don't spend that much on paint, to be honest. And I use quite a bit of it. I don't know, I just like how the colors look. I'm really into pastels lately for some reason. Also, this is gonna take, I'm already seeing this is gonna take so long to dry. But that's fun, it's fine. It'll teach you patience. Maybe I'll do like some drops. Yeah, like I'm trying to get like the edges somehow. Cause I really want the whole page to be filled. And yeah, as you can see from my examples, like I don't fill up the pages that much. So, oh, that was a lot. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of bleeding on this one too. I can tell like in the, in the gutter, it's probably gonna bleed through a lot. So, um, <laughs> rip. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just, okay, the moment of truth, everyone. Now we're gonna close the book. Just be careful, just just be patient. Just, just be, just be chill, just be chill. <laughs> Send the good vibes. Yeah, we're gonna get some major, um, 
It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, ready? 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 <laughs> and we close. I like to, I don't know, do a little dance, make sure everything gets the way or, to where it needs to be, hope for the best, say a prayer that your book doesn't get destroyed. Okay, you honestly don't need to do it that much. I'm just overreacting. But here's our page. And now we open it. Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. Oh, snap. Hey. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. I love it. And then, yeah, so after this, um, just leave it to dry. So I'm just going to leave this here um it'll take up like if you just leave it to air dry it'll take about a couple hours an hour or two maybe um you could take a hair dryer to a hair dryer to it if you'd like but i just like to let it you know let it vibe and uh yeah so we'll come back once this has dried Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna admit I completely forgot about this. So this is the next day. Um, this is after about a day of drying. Um, you can see that there's these types of um, kind of bumps. Um, for me, it doesn't really matter that much to me, but if this bothers you, you can always, um, it's because there's like air bubbles. So just pop them um, when you see them so that when it dries, it doesn't make that. But uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna test out to see if this paper thing even worked. I really hope it did, otherwise it's going to be kind of sad. But hopefully... Okay, so it kind of kind of worked. Um, it definitely did a lot less damage than it would have if I didn't put the paper there, so... It does, it does help. I might have, it could have helped if I took off the paper a bit earlier. But as I, as I admitted, I kind of forgot about this paper. I just left it to dry and yeah. Um, this here. Oh, snap. I want to cut it. It might be easier. Take some scissors. Oh no, that's going to make things worse. Hold up, wait. Let me fix this. I mean, like, there. It's the little things like that. Like, if it bothers you, you can deal with it. But if not... You can just leave it but there we go see so it didn't it very much did not bleed through which i'm thankful for so you, it gives less damage onto your other pages as you can see this book is very the pages are pretty thin so you can see it bleeds through a little bit but other than that i think it's great um yeah let's keep on going i don't know what else i'm gonna do for this but we'll figure it out so i think what i'm going to do is actually cover up kind of these little bumps here um I, I don't want to cover up too much of the page because i think this is really pretty already so what i'm gonna do is um i have like some scrap paper it's something i always stand by just having keeping a lot of scraps don't waste anything and um i have kind of this little disc thing it's but it's literally i don't know use it for paint but i just need it for a circle so find anything that has a circle and uh i'm just gonna draw a circle pretty straightforward and then I'm gonna cut it out and I'm just gonna probably write a quote on it and then stick paste that on and that's it like I didn't want to do that much with this page because I think the the painting really kind of speaks for itself you don't really need to do that much more sometimes I just leave my pages blank because I just like how they look I think, yeah, I'm just gonna stick it here, probably. Um, I need a quote, though. Hold up, let me go find a quote. I swear, like, one of the hardest things for me is finding quotes. Like, I don't like all the quotes on Pinterest because I find them all way too basic, but sometimes you just need a quote and you need it fast. So, yeah, um, a lot of times when I do art journaling, I end up having, like, a book just for me where I actually, like, fully, like, journal and I, like, write everything I'm feeling because that's very therapeutic and I think you should do that because sometimes you just need to talk to a journal. But uh, yeah, sometimes you need like little quotes. So 
basically the quote i'm writing is just slow progress is still progress which is pretty basic i know please don't attack me but i just need a quote for this page you can do whatever quote you want um but a lot of times i get quotes from like song lyrics and things like that and when i do lettering um i really don't care like i want it to look messy i don't want it to look like super whatever neat how do you spell i can't i can't multitask i can't talk and write at the same time i hope i spell this right i know like i'm an english major but like i'm the worst at spelling like why do i need to spell and i can just google it you know I love drawing S's, there's something about it. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish this and then we'll continue. Okay, these things. Glue tape. I get them from Daiso. Um, I think they're called Umomo here now in Canada, but yeah, you can get these anywhere. You can get them off of Amazon, you can get them at the dollar store. I live and breathe by them. There's something about them. They just make everything in life so much easier. But yeah, you flip it over and then you just stick it in. I'm going to put this, okay, there. Just I use this technique to cover up my mistakes all the time. If I'm sticking something on top, it's usually because I messed up underneath. But yeah, there we go. I think that was really fast. And uh, yeah, I love making pages like these. They always turn out really light, really nice. Um, and I'm really proud of them. I just, I don't know, I like it. Just the whole process of it, like it's just really fun to do. So uh, yeah, make sure you try it out because I hope it's as fun as it is for me, for you. Because I think it's really fun. So yeah, um, yeah, that's it for this. Um, make sure you take some time to journal today or this week or whenever you have some free time. Journaling is a really great thing to do and I think you should do it. Your journals are probably sitting on your desk watching you and begging you to fill them up so you know give your journal some love i think it's a great thing to do it's just your journals they want to be filled anyways thanks for taking some time to journal with me yeah um that's all i have here it goes does it look nice i hope <laughs> all right bye